Uh, I basically flopped a set, slow played it, and then turned quads, and then uh, continued to slow play it, but the aggressive player decided to check raise and a three-way hand, uh, and I just called to continue to let him keep betting, and then on the river he bet, and I raised, and he obviously called, so he has to have something, because he called my river a bet, but it was one of those spots where there was a flush draw, and like I was like completely okay if like he was trying to get there, because um, I figure most of the time he's not going to, and the times he doesn't, he's going to bluff off all his chips, so it just somehow worked out where the flush draw didn't get there, and then I ended up making quads, which is even better so it, again it's opponent dependent in spots where you pretty much are positive you have the best hand uh, obviously the key here is to get all your chips in the middle uh, I would say the the number one key in doing that is knowing how your opponent plays and what you need to do uh, so in my specific case uh, I knew my opponent was just overly aggressive uh, he was a really good young player he just like it was early in the morning and he seemed like he wanted to win every hand so I kind of just let him be very aggressive uh, but certain opponents are risk averse and they're going to want to check down hands so you might have to to bet bigger against them or um, find ways to get your chips in the pot against them because they won't do it. So uh, it just completely depends on the opponent.